Well, when the forecast is lousy, it can feel you, leave you feeling lousy and a little bummed out. But maybe there's more to it than being depressed about another gray day. Many people think the weather plays a real role in their overall health. So if that's you, there's a website out there you'll want to know more about. Here's Stephanie Matisse with that. There might not be definitive scientific proof, but ask almost anyone how they feel when that storm's a-coming, and they can tell you that weather sometimes makes them feel under the weather. I'm a TTC mechanic, and I've found that all my joints are clunking and all that lately. Yeah, the cold's no good for us. I do get numbness in some of my fingers. Imagine if a weather forecast included health advisories. It might look something like this. Tomorrow, three degrees, pressure's dropping with rain. That's a heads up for migraine sufferers. Thursday looks slightly better with warmer temperatures, but that might be bad news for depression. And a big change on Friday, down to zero and snow. Not great for arthritis. Dr. John Bart would love to see forecasts like that all the time. He says that's how it's done in Germany. Essentially what we're doing is forewarned is forearmed. For years he's been studying weather and health. It's his life's mission to prove what many people already think. That sinus headache? could be related to the weather. Now he's using this website to build his case. Metaclime calls itself an anonymous warning system, sending users email on how current weather conditions can affect their health. You can opt in to have email alerts for migraine, arthritis, heart disease, diabetes, or asthma. And we will email you 24 hours ahead of one of these weather patterns approaching you. But some health professionals say a service like this might alarm people needlessly, especially with problems like heart disease. This chiropractor says most patients want to prevent, not predict. Even a simple headache could get overblown. Mm -hmm. You think your employer would have allowed you to stay home? If I got this email from the from the weather the weather health the weather health coordinator. So far, 1,200 people have signed up to get Metaclim alerts, but Dr. Bart needs hundreds of thousands more for a scientific study. Stephanie Matisse, CBC News, Toronto.